Now, power outages have been a problem south of St. Louis, where heavier amounts of snow fell this week. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal reports from Iron County, where the all-volunteer emergency management agency is now springing into action. First responders in Iron County rallied together in an effort to check on residents. Myself and several county units have been out door to door, you know, just letting our elderly know we're here if they need anything, checking on them and making sure that they're, they're safe and taken care of. We have warming shelters that uh, can be functional and operational if needed. The snow that fell was wet and heavy, taking down some tree limbs and power lines. Anderson said a few hundred Black River Electric customers were still without power Thursday night. Be patient and just uh, call if you need us and, and you know if you have a need that uh, you feel you need to go to a warming shelter or, or another location, definitely call dispatch and just let us know and we'll um, make arrangements to get help to you. In neighboring St. Francis County, most of the power problems have been restored there. The snow did cause some businesses to shut down for the day. We had a lot of plow trucks down here getting the roads clear as soon as it was coming down. Um, we were uh, plowing all night. We started like at 9 p.m. and I, I didn't quit till about 2 p.m. the next day. Brendan Dickerson with Lance's Landscaping and Excavating said the wet snow was a good snow for plowing compared to previous snowfalls. This snow is much easier to get rid of. It was nice and wet. Uh, that other stuff we got, you know, it was real it, icy, didn't come out of the parking lots good. It, cleaned up really well. McLean Motors shut down Wednesday. We didn't want customers out here walking around, so we decided to close down for the day. But after the plows came through, they opened the next day. As of Thursday, Ameren, Missouri reports nearly all of its customers who lost power have had power restored. Coming up on Fox 2 News at 10, just how many went without power during the peak of the storm. Reporting from Farmington, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.